Hey guys, what's up? So today is going today's video is going to be um a back to school themed video because I know a lot of you guys are starting school or have already started school. Um I start in two weeks, so I thought that I should make this video and put that up and hopefully when I start school I will get a bit more scheduled and start um posting videos more, but in all fairness I probably will not be posting as much um video wise so please bear with me on that and let's get started so these are just kind of like my favorites for back to school things I love for school and this is especially I really like um recommend this video for incoming freshmen to high school because um I mean I know that can be a really tricky and difficult time it was really hard for me my freshman year and honestly if I have any advice just kind of don't care and I know that's really hard because it's still kind of hard for me not to care. But if you just don't care and you just worry about your own happiness and not what other people think of you, then all, all around you, you're just going to be happier and people are going to see you. Like, people are going to like the way you carry yourself better if you tend not to care about what others think. So, just a little bit of advice there. And let's jump in. So, a makeup product I really like for freshmen is, uh, especially like for high schoolers and teenagers, is um, BB cream and it is pretty much just an all-around one-stop shop for your skin it's like a foundation but it also has stuff benefits like sunscreen and serums and um, just other stuff to renew your skin it's kind of like BB creams are kind of like tinted moisturizers almost um, and you can also use a tinted moisturizer I find it easier than foundation because um, you just I just put a little bit on my fingers and just kind of rub it all around my face and I just find it easier in the mornings, especially when I'm super tired. So BB cream is super awesome. And I absolutely love floral scents for school, um, especially if you're kind of like me and you're like really girly. Um, like floral scents like Bath and Body Works is Sweet Pea, and that is the Christmas packaging, but yeah. And Honey Sweetheart by Bath and Body Works. These are my two like favorite girly scents. But um, also like soft amber notes and kind of like Twilight scents are also really good for like the incoming fall and stuff but yeah. but um if you're like just trying to like be that cute little girly person then these are totally awesome so next um for lips honestly I know a lot of people aren't really brave enough to wear lipstick like really bright colored lipstick um, I know that I get a lot of stares, actually, when I wear, like, my heroin and, like, my bright red lipstick, like, to school. So, things I recommend if you aren't really, are kind of shy and you don't really like to wear those bright colors are lip glosses. Um, definitely, I really like the Liplicious line from Bath & Body Works because these are super yummy. They're really tasty. And they smell really good. Like, this one is my favorite. It's Cherry Gelato, and it smells like Kool-Aid. And I love Kool-Aid with a burning passion. And also Clear Lip Gloss is really awesome. This is a really awesome one by NYX Cosmetics. It is their Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Clear, and it's kind of, my tube's kind of red because I put it over red lipstick, but it smells like cherries. And when I was in sixth grade, this was literally my favorite lip gloss. Like this is the third tube I've bought of this lip gloss because I love it so much. And also for lips, if you like a bit more of a hint of color, um, Elf Lip Stain in Pink Petal is a really good back-to-school color because mine's kind of running out. It runs out really fast, but it's kind of like a light pink, and that's a really cute color. Plus, it stays on forever. Or if you are into lipstick and want to go a bit brighter, um, Candy Yum Yum by MAC is a really bright pink color, or just any bright pink lipstick if you're more into drugstore brands. So, yeah. I'm just starting with makeup and then just, do I have anything else over there that I forgot? Okay. Yeah. I, I, dogs, I'm so out of it. I'm like, it's really hot in my room right now because my mom always forgets to turn on the air conditioner. And I turned it on last night because I was like sweating so hard and I, like, my mom like yelled at me and she's like, no, you can't turn on the air conditioning, so yeah. But... Um, so a thing I really like for, uh, especially for high school, is jumbo eyeshadow sticks. Uh, these are ones by NYX Cosmetics and ELF Cosmetics. Um, I don't really like, I like the NYX Cosmetics ones better than the ELF Cosmetics, although the ELF ones are easier to sharpen. 
But um, jumbo eyeshadow sticks are really awesome, especially if you're running late and you want some kind of pop of color and you can just like draw on some eyeshadow and then just run out the door. Usually if I'm feeling super lazy in the morning, I will just put on BB cream and then some jumbo eyeshadow stick and then a coat of mascara and some lip gloss and go. Like I don't really even try that hard for school because I'm just, everyone's tired. I'm tired. Everyone else is tired. They're not going to notice and maybe I'll dress pretty the next day. So yeah. So after this, I have one more makeup favorite. This is literally, I really recommend, um, I really like this mascara, especially for um, people who have just started wearing makeup. Like if you're a freshman and you're just starting to be allowed to wear makeup. I was allowed to wear makeup in middle school, but um, I know my friend wasn't allowed to actually wear like makeup makeup until she was a freshman. And even when she was a freshman, she was only allowed to wear lip gloss and mascara. So this is a really cool mascara I found. It's the Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara. Volume Express, whatever. There's a lot of words on this. But it has one brush for your top lashes, and then on the other side, it has a little smaller brush for your bottom lashes. So that's really cool, um, especially if you just, honestly, mascara is a really, if you don't like, like, big eye looks or, like, eyeshadow that takes a lot of effort, if you just put on, like, mascara on your top and bottom lashes, it honestly just looks fine. Like, I really like to do that as well. So the last two things, um, I have been loving the Maybelline Color Show nail polishes lately. Um, nail polish is really fun, especially for high schoolers, um, especially if your parents don't let you wear makeup, because my mom, um, she didn't like me to wear makeup when I was in, like, I think I started wearing in, like, seventh grade, but even then I had restrictions, and, but nail polish was always allowed. So these are literally my favorite nail polishes ever, because they're super cheap. I mean, yeah, they're, they're, I got, um these in a Maybelline contest I won, but these are super cheap. They're like $5 a bottle, and they have the prettiest colors. My two favorites are Punk Rock Pink and Emerald City, and these are so glittery and pearlescent. I just love them. So, yes, that's all for beauty favorites, and now on to, actually, no, there's one more I forgot. So, also, if you are just starting out with makeup, um, palettes are a really good, neutral palettes are really good to do. Um, if you're just starting out. So ones I recommend are the, on the cheap end, are the e.l.f. Geometric Eyeshadow Book. And this is the 36 piece in second edition. And this is just a really neutral book. Um, really neutral shades. They blend really well and they go well with any skin tone. And this is really awesome if you're just starting makeup. Um, if you like to travel more to the high end, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar is a really awesome neutral palette because it has like a array of neutrals plus like shimmery like there's like a pink and a purple here and there's like coppery matte shimmery shades and they're all natural which is really good if your eyes um like if your skin is really like sensitive to um chemicals and stuff these are all natural they're all made of like cocoa powder so this is a really awesome palette to check out. Also, the Maybelline Nudes palette and any of the Urban Decay Naked palettes also work. So I think I'm finally done with beauty favorites now. And it's time to head on to school favorites. So things I love for school. I mean, uh, school supplies, like for school supplies. I'd probably say um, the best supplies is your favorite book. That's really cheesy and corny, but I cannot live without, like, my favorite book. Also, I can't live without colored pens. I don't have them with me right now, but I love, like, buying the pens that are, like, purples and pinks and, like, the light blues and the orange. I love them so much, and me and my friend will write notes to each other on a notebook with, like, the colorful pens and stuff. Also, notebooks are super awesome, and I actually, I, you guys know I am a writer, and I do write during school a lot instead of listening um, I mean, I listen during school all the time, and I do my homework, and I, no, actually, I do do my homework, but, um, sometimes I just kind of tune out. So, some of the note, I really like the med, mead, med, murd notebooks, because they have, like, some of them have really cute designs. Also, composition notebooks can have really cute designs, and, um, this one I actually found, I wanted to show you guys, is really cool. I got this at Barnes & Noble. And I think it was about five bucks, but this is the, it's a journal, but I'm like, it's big enough to be a notebook and I'm using it as a notebook, but it's, is the sayings of Buddha. And, um, they also have the teachings of Jesus, but on every single page, it's really cool. On every single page, they have like a little Buddha quote. So this one is how easily the wind overturns a frail tree. 
Seek happiness in the senses, indulge in food and sleep, and you will too, and you too will be uprooted. So it has like Buddha quotes on every page, and I think that's super, super awesome. And also, a thing I absolutely love for school is duct tape. So duct tape, usually they have them on sale, like at Walmart, for like, I think I got this, like three for nine dollars, and this one is um, Mickey Mouse duct tape. You guys know I'm obsessed with Disney. So this is really awesome because um, you can use anything. Duct tape is so versatile. Like you can use it if your binders are falling apart. Um, you can use it just to decorate stuff. You can, I use it for band because everything breaks in band and I have to duct tape it back together. But it's always fun to have fun duct tape and yeah. So, um, and that's it for school supplies. Also, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go too into fashion just because, um, I know that a lot of school dress codes are different. Like, my school dress code isn't that strict, although it is kind of dumb. But some are really strict. Like, my friend's school, you can't wear yoga pants. Yeah. But, and then some people have uniform schools that are really strict. But things, I'm going to, one little tip for, this is behind my computer, so pardon my reach. Chest all up in your face. Scandalous. All right. But one thing I really love for school, definitely, if you, um, especially if you're, like, racing around to your classes, are flats. Because, um, going to classes in heels, not a good idea. Especially if you, um, don't want to be late. I still don't know how to walk in heels. I will admit that. I have no idea how to walk in heels. Like, I go to a party with heels, and then the heels, like, are immediately, like, homecoming, the heels are on the chair. Prom, the heels are on the chair. Weddings, heels are, like, outside back in my car. Like, I don't even try. But I absolutely love flats, and you can find really cute flats everywhere. So these are really fun. And that is it for the video today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below if you want to see anything else. I do reviews, tutorials, swatches outfits of the day other stuff anything you guys want to see I can do um if you want to see more of my videos you can go down in this little box below and check them out if you want to subscribe you can hit that red button down there and subscribe it would mean a lot to me and I guess that's it so I'll see you guys later bye love you